Hi, and welcome to another video on HTML and CSS. In this video, I'm going to show you how to link to other pages on your website. So what we have here uh, is a home page, uh, index.html, which just has a heading that says, Welcome to my website. And what I want to do is link from this page to a second page. So I want the user to be able to click on a link to go to page two. And so I've already created a second file here called page2.html. And at the moment, that file just has a heading that says, this is page two. So I want to link from this page to this page. And what I'll need to do is use the A tag, which stands for anchor, uh, to add a link. So we say A and then a space. And what we need to do is add an attribute, which is just extra information the tag needs to work. And the attribute we need is called href, which stands for hypertext reference. And that specifies the location of the page we are linking to. It specifies the, the destination um, where we want to take the user to when they click on the link. So href equals, and then in quotation marks, we specify the location or the path to the file we want to take the user to. And that file is going to be page2.html. If we look in the folder, both pages are in the same folder. So we only need to specify the file name because that second file, page two, is in the same folder or directory. So say page2.html, we need to make sure we include that HTML, .html bit there. Okay, so we've specified the path there, or the location of the page we are linking to. We close that bracket. And then between this tag here and the closing A tag, that's where we specify the text that we want to make uh, we want to display for the link. So we could just say something like click here to go to page two. All right, now I'll save that. We've got our text for the link and we have the destination. Save that and I'll just open up the home page. And there we go, we've got a heading and the link to page two. So if I click this, it should take me to page two. And there we go, we're on page two.html in the same folder, the website folder and I can click back to go back. Now, I might not want to have the whole text here a link. I might just want to make the word here a link and the rest of the text just normal. So what we can do is we can actually just say here for the link and we can put this link within a paragraph of text. So we're only making one word or one part of the text a link. So I'm going to add a, the P tag for a paragraph. And I'll start here and I'll end it down here. I'm going to put in the paragraph click space. Then the word here will be the link. And then after that, we'll say to go to page two. Okay, so basically what we have is a whole paragraph of text here inside these P tags. And then within that, we have just one part of it that's a link, just the word here. So we have click here to go to page two, and it's just the word here that's within the A tags for the link. Refresh the page, and there we go. It's just the word here that's the link. Okay, now you might have noticed that the link goes purple once it's clicked. Um, that's just a default setting, but we can change that later when we uh, add CSS code to style this web page. We can change the link color um, and make sure that it doesn't go purple if we don't want it to go purple. Okay, so um, that's how we create a link to another file on the website. Now at the moment, this page is in the uh, same, it's in the same uh, folder. Now, what we might do is have other folders on this website with pages in those folders. So we'll look at how to link to other folders. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a folder and let's just say we call it articles. So we're going to have a number of articles in this folder. And I'll just uh, move a page two to the articles folder. I'll open it back up in my code editor here, Visual Studio Code. So what we have now is we have our website folder, 
index.html is in that. And then we have another folder here called articles and that contains page2.html. So we want to link from index to page2. So if we go back to index.html, what we need to do is specify that, that full path to that file, page2.html, within the articles folder. So we change it to articles forward slash page2.html. Now if we go back and refresh the home page and click on that link, and we go to page two and we can notice now that it's website forward slash articles forward slash page two dot html. Now, what if we want to link back to the home page on the second page? Well, let's go and do that now. So say click here to go back home. And I'm gonna make the word here the link. So we'll use the A tag, we'll say href equals and we'll just close off the a tag there after the word here and a bit of a space there and what we're going to have to do here is we can't just say index.html watch what happens if we do that let's refresh the page if we click on index if we click on that link it's going to say your file was not found and the reason why is because it's looking in the same folder it's looking in the articles folder for index.html but index.html is not in the articles folder it's in the website folder so we need to take we need to go back or go up one folder we need to get out of the articles folder and get the index.html file within just the website folder so we're going to have to fix that link and to go up a folder what we can do is say dot dot forward slash so the dot dot means to go up one folder within this folder. So save that and refresh this page. Now when we click on this link, it should take us back to the home page within just the website folder. All right, so that's how you can go up folders in your links. Um, what we'll do is lastly for this video, we'll just look at how to link to other websites. So if we want to link to another website, we can specify the full address. So let's say we want to take the user to Google. We can say click here to go to Google. Rather than linking to a specific file, whether it's a, a web page or whether it's an image or a video or some other type of file on, on this website, rather than linking to just a, a file within the website, if we're going to link to a file on another website or a page on another website, we're going to have to specify the website address. So if we want to go to Google, we can do HTTP, yes, if you want, www.google.com. All right, and we're specifying the link to uh, Google's website. So save that, um, we'll go to page two, and now when we click this link, it should take us to Google. Okay, so that's how you can link to other websites and you know if there's a specific image that we wanted on that website or a specific page we could put in the you know, forward slash and then you know page 2.html or image.gif or whatever it is we can specify the full path to that that file so that's it for this uh video it's how to create links and link to other files and uh other pages and link to other folders. Uh, later on in this series, we'll look at how to create links to other sections on a page so you can make the user jump to different sections on a page using links. And we'll also look at how to uh, style links and how to create a theme to change the appearance of links and create a full menu as well. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.